we're going to investigate the inverting amplifier which uses negative feedback which is explained on the website on the inverting amplifier page. Negative feedback keeps the non-inverting input and the inverting input at the same voltage and if you'll notice the non-inverting input is already attached directly to zero volts. So that means that the inverting input, this point here, is what we call a virtual earth because it's effectively connected to ground, to naught volts, to earth, because the negative feedback ensures that it's always approximately zero volts. Now, with that in mind, we should be able to work out the gain of this amplifier. So let's start off with an input which comes in V in, and we're going to assume it's positive. Therefore, current's going to flow through this resistor because it's flowing from the positive input voltage to this point here, which is at zero volts, or close enough. No current can flow into the input, so the current has to keep flowing through the output resistor, or the feedback resistor, and to the output. So this will call current I in, and this will call current I feedback, and because there is no current flowing into this point here, okay, no current flows into the input to the op amp, we can start off by writing that the input current is equal to the feedback current. Right, let's do some resistor equation work. So the potential difference across this resistor is V in to zero, and therefore for the input current I equals V in, which is positive, over Ri. And for the feedback current, we have that the potential difference across this resistor is going from zero, this point here, to the output voltage, and the current's flowing in this direction, which means that this output voltage here must be negative. That's what it means. So therefore we can write IF equals minus V out. The output voltage has to be negative to allow the current to flow in that direction, divided by RF. Now as we mentioned in the first line, they're equal, so we can write V in over RI equals minus V out over RF. And we should know from our amplifier theory that gain is defined to be V out divided by V in and therefore a simple bit of rearrangement of this equation gives us that the gain which is V out divided by V in, so take that down the bottom is just equal to RF so that comes up the top divided by RI and there's still minus sign there and that is the equation for the gain of our inverting amplifier.